Welcome back, guys, to Factorio Meiosis, episode number three. Today, we're going to fight a lot of aliens. We've got to kill a lot of aliens, or bacteria, as I might refer to them, because we need space. We need space to make new bases, to connect things up with trains. If we can't do that, this whole series is going to be very short and very depressing. So, last episode, I said we needed to make a base where we develop weapons and stuff, uh, but I need the the good weapons to kill stuff. So actually what I did is I just set up a bunch of ad hoc, temporary, just like wherever I could fit it, weapon stuff. And uh, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to run around and harvest it up. 33 distractor capsules. We just had, I guess we're having an attack there. We just had a brownout. So uh, because of the, the amount of power I'm using now, I added 40 more steam engines down here. Eventually, I would like to have one big area that is just steam engines. We're going to have a steam engine base, and we're going to deliver coal to it from our coal base. We're going to be so specialized. It's going to be awesome. Uh, but one thing at a time. Okay, so I just picked up some distractor capsules, and they are made with uh, these guys, defender capsules. I've got 280 of those. I've also been making piercing shotgun shells. I've upgraded, and let's see how much is in here. Let's grab that much, and uh, having 300 on reserve is a pretty good number. I'm basically never going to use this submachine gun again. I'll probably even take it off my bar in a little bit, and just use the shotgun and the rocket launcher. I haven't really been upgrading the rocket launcher yet. Uh, we're going to need better armor. I turned off the train, by the way, because our area down there is so backed up. It's finished producing all the stuff I want that this train wasn't doing anything. Um, so I just turned it off to save power. That's me, Mr. Efficient. Let's see, what else? Okay, so we've got blue circuits down here. They're being created from electronic advanced circuits. Electronic and advanced circuits in sulfuric acid. Oh, I also, I ran out of oil, so I had to take a tiny little expansion here to get this little oil guy. Things you gots to do. Then I set up an area. What are these? These are poison capsules. I don't think I need that many. Let's set that to 300 as well. These guys are really good for killing the worms because you just like throw them and run away and they will uh, basically poison. They, they will literally poison the worms. That's what they do. They, they don't do any damage to the bases though. Unless that's changed, then here I'm making energy shields because we're going to make power armor. We're going to skip. Uh, let me see. In my crafting weapons tab here. Um, so previously we had iron armor and then we're wearing heavy armor now. I researched basic modular armor. We're going to skip right past that and go straight to the power armor, which takes 40 processing units, 20 electric engines, 40 steel plates, and 10 alien artifacts. Let's go get some artifacts. In fact, I might need some artifacts for other stuff, and I've got a stupid amount here, so let's just take 250. I think this is enough. We'll run around and pick up all the stuff we need. Uh, let's see, can I go ahead and make it? What am I missing? 20 electric engines, okay. So I made um, 8 energy shield mark 2. That's probably more than I can fit in this guy. And then here I've got electric engines. I had to make some lubricant for that. And that is made from heavy oil. That's why I needed the iron, or the, uh, the oil expansion. So let's grab those. Can I make this now? Power armor, yes! Okay, so let's see. Here I'm making, and we're going to try out the tank as well, so I'm making cannon shells and explosive cannon shells for the tank. And uh, some of these things, like uh, this needs steel, and this area is just, it's gone into extreme spaghetti mode, so I just made chests to put the steel in. And then, let's see, what else do we need? Oh yeah, batteries up here. Um, we're going to make... A portable fusion reactor, which will power our stuff, but it's okay to have uh, a little bit of batteries just to store up, um, like a, a barrier of uh, energy for the shields. I I seem to remember those being useful. We will find out in a second. Did I make it? Yes. Okay, so I've made that. What do I need to make more of these? Thirty and thirty. I need more steel plates. That we can definitely do. In fact, I might even. We, let's snag them from the line. Let's not snag them from there because I set up a specific amount of steel in those chests to make a specific amount of shells. So let's just snag it from this line, which is backed up. I'm not researching anything because I'm not in a terrible rush to research stuff right now. 
Okay, that should be good. So let's make two basic exoskeleton equipments. And then, oh, this is the fun part. This is when the game gets really cool. This plus the robots really changes the way the game plays. Power armor. That's not power armor. Yeah, that's power armor. <laughs> I'm not crazy. Okay, awesome. So uh, we can right mouse button to open. And we've got a 7x7 seven seven grid. One thing's going in there is our portable fusion reactor, which is going to power our shields. Like so. And, oh, okay, looks like I counted wrong. We can only fit one of these guys in here. So this guy increases our um, speed. I can't actually see what it says, the uh, percentage, but 30%. So now I'm a bit faster. You can lay down concrete and pavement and stuff. I haven't done that yet. Uh, we will get to that eventually, but that will make us a bit faster. But now I'm just a little bit speedier for getting in and out and outrunning aliens, that kind of stuff. Can't fit the second one. All right, so we've got two shields. Batteries are... We can fit the batteries here. Nothing else is going to go there anyway. And then a third shield. Yeah, that's not too bad. Uh, we could put solar panels in here, but there's no need with a fusion reactor. And this bar right here is our shield filling up. All right, that's pretty good. Uh, all right, so let's put these guys... Where would we put them? I don't really have a chest for equipment that's... Uh, I have, a, I have a chest for obsolete equipment, but not one for equipment that I'm using, but not using right now. So let's make this, put that, uh, that's obsolete, we'll put that in there, but this is not. Uh, we will need those in the future. Uh, that can stack. Okay, and I, I do actually need some of this stuff. Okay, so let's go, uh, let's go put the heavy armor in the obsolete chest. And then we'll go give some of this new technology a try on the nearest aliens. We are... I don't know if we've maxed out the evolution of the aliens, but we are definitely getting the the large biters. So is it, we've more or less close to... Uh, is It doesn't matter. We have maxed out the evolution. Let's hop in the car. And let's head up here. We're going to start um, on these guys because there's a big copper patch here, which... Whoa! <laughs> okay. Maybe don't be moving down the road when you are trying to look at the map. But we're going to take, uh, hopefully, this copper patch. Big coal patch will might be our coal outpost. Our permanent coal base. Where we will have to set up a train to bring coal back and forth. We have coal still here, but uh, we'll need coal in other places, like in our... Maybe we'll have, there's a big copper place there. There's a, lot of, there's a lot of minerals, okay? A lot of minerals. Okay, let's just get up here to where we're gonna start. I guess right about here is good. We'll just hide the car right here. It shouldn't get attacked, and it can be defended by these turrets. Okay, and then let's look at uh, our bar. So I don't need these guys on my bar, that's for sure. Barely ever use them anymore. So let's put distractor capsules there. I also want to try out the train, or uh, the tank, the tank. I tried it, the tank out previously, and it felt, I was a little bit underwhelmed by it, but maybe because I had teched too far, uh, but we'll give it a chance. And then poison capsules, maybe there, and let's uh, bind those to those locations, so when they empty out, they'll get refilled by shift clicking them, or middle mouse, shift middle mouse wheel clicking them. And then the cannon shells will load and tank. Okay, so where do we want to start? Let's start on these guys here. And we would like... Ooh, yeah, there's a lot of dudes there. All right, so here's how we're going to do it. We're going to start here. And we're going to bring a power line out to, to about... Come on, connect up to there. Give it a light. And then we're going to do... This to about... Okay, they haven't seen me yet. Good. So this will be our fallback position. And I'll even... No, nah, I'm not going to give it a... I'm not going to give it a wall, because we're going to be advancing forward too fast for that to matter. Okay, guys. So we got the big spitters and the big biters now. And since this is my fallback position, I maybe I'll go ahead and give it a double double line there. Hey guys, if you want to come one at a time, that's actually that's actually pretty good. 
All right, so let's try a train or tank. I meant the tank. Buy him. Oh, he needs fuel. Crap. Uh. Oh, this. Okay, this will do. I have not put gates in a lot of these areas. So we'll just have to break the wall there. Grab that much. Just uh, that one exoskeleton leg thing has really made a noticeable difference on my running speed. All right, and so we'll give you that and that and just dump extra in there. Okay, so you've got... Oh. Wait, wait. Explosive cannon shell cannot be used as ammo. Oh, that's for the machine gun. Oh, duh. Okay, so that there. So I guess we could put this in there, and I don't really intend to use this submachine gun anymore. So let's take that out of there. I wonder if we can... And I guess we can't change that. So let's put that there. And we can... Uh, yeah, alternate. We can try those out. Hit enter to get in it. <laughs> it is pretty funny. Okay, so what are the controls? I don't actually remember. Whoa! Okay, space bar shoots where your cursor is. Okay, the range, it did not quite hit that guy. Yeah, that, see, this was my problem. I think it's too slow. If it's going to be this slow, it needs to have a greater range to really do much. And then what about the... Oh, it's down here, so I guess I can hit Q to change ammo types. And it's not shooting, maybe because nothing's in front of me. Alright, let's see if we can actually... Uh, yeah. Yeah. Not that great. Oh god. Oh god. Okay. Please help. Getting surrounded. Alright, I'm running. Well, that's how that goes. So much for the tank. Kinda sucks. I really think the tank needs a, a much greater range. If the enemies come after you, if you shoot them from a great range, then it's fine, I think. You can uh, kind of... Bam! Oh, it... that was pretty good. The damage is pretty good. But at this range, I can uh, I can lob bombs at this kind of stuff, you know? Oh, Magnelli. That's a lot of dudes. That is a lot of dudes. Oh, they killed my uh, power line. Hook up! Why aren't you hooked up? Sheesh. <laughs> okay. Hey. Okay, let's get back in the tank. <laughs> and let's try the... Uh, let's try... The explosive shells. Oh, I just broke that piece of rock. Get wrecked, rock. Bam! Bam! Yeah, it's not doing too much damage to them. The turrets are doing the bulk of the damage. I should put down some lights, because it's... Oh my god, so many enemies! Holy cow! Okay, good, they're dead. For like three seconds. Okay, it doesn't do nearly as much damage against the uh, little spawny bases. Alright, let's try... This might work a little better. Okay, so what do we got here? We've got distractors. Okay, they can just sit there and shoot stuff. They don't count as part of my um, my summoner. By the way, some people in the comments have mentioned that uh, you can actually tell your max follower count. Because when you summon stuff, the little count will show up here and you can mouse over. It will tell you, tell you your maximum and it will turn green when you hit your maximum. So that's actually pretty handy. Let me just put down a few lights. Uh, tank needs greater range. If it had maybe 50% uh, greater range than it has now, I think it could be useful. And I'm going to need more... Oh, I don't have iron. That's... Okay, I'm going to have to go back for iron soon to make more repair packs, but we can do a little bit of damage. Uh, so distractors are pretty good. So if I summon a defender... Right now, it says followers, defenders, one. Maximum count of followers, 24. Okay. So we can do this. And it's counting up. I just didn't... I was so focused on fighting stuff, I didn't even notice that number counting up in the corner. Now I've got 24. 
All right, here we go. We can summon a bunch of these in here. And go to work with my shields. Doing work. Doing work. Oh, they're doing a lot of damage. Okay, help me. Help me, turrets. Help me, robots. Oh, God. That's a lot of damage. That's a lot of aliens. That is a lot of aliens. Come on, aliens. Come and get some. Oh, but we're, we're healing. We're fighting. All right, we're summoning all kinds of stuff. We're breaking the bank. I mean, the bases. We're breaking their bases. This is going to break my banks. I got to... This stuff is expensive. And I'm down to two guys. Oh, they all died. Okay. Yeah, this took a while to craft all of these. Go on, turrets. Do some work. There you go. Okay, we're at maximum. And I'm almost out of uh, distractors. But we can dump some poison all around. Oh, God. Run away. Run away. There's some big worms in there, I think. Or maybe at least one. They do a lot of damage. Yeah! Oh, yes. Okay, nice. Let's try to... Can we get in here and just murder the bases themselves? That's what's spawning the aliens. Kill the bases. Get rid of the problem. And uh, already... So this is... Uh, you have to kind of run back and forth. Already, this is much faster than what I had to do before. And as we tech up, this is going to get better and better. Eventually, it will get so powerful that we will just be able to just, like, stroll right through these encampments. We're definitely not there yet, though. Look at how many guys... Oh, God. I might die. Oh, it just saved. It just saved. And, oh, no, I got saved by the turrets. That's what happened. This is spawning so many dudes. I think I might have to advance my turrets farther. Okay. Okay, come back to the turrets, then we'll go place turrets. Um, my health is quite low. Look at that power spike to 60 megawatts. And I've got... Okay, I've got enough turrets, it's fine. Okay. All my guys expired. I wonder if there... I don't think there's research to make your guys last longer. That would be super handy. But we have made a huge dent in these guys. Oh, gosh. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, and while I'm at it, I probably want to be doing something like this. Because they're coming from above now as well. And it's going to turn night as night soon. So let's put some uh, bullets or uh, lights down. Getting confused. It can be confusing sometimes. Yeah, take that, bases. Oh, so many aliens. So many aliens. That's right. Oh, they're not powered. Uh, do we not have enough power? Okay, I think just the... Uh, the We're having a hard time keeping up with the power. All right, last 13 of these guys, and I got to go craft more. Oh, no, I've got like a hunt. I got like 200 in my inventory. Never mind. Never mind. Okay, back to the turrets. Back to the turrets. Okay, so I can get up to 24. I think I need to increase my follower counts. What I need to do. Okay. Oh, this is bad. Don't do not do this. Don't do this. If you're trying to fight like this, don't do this. Okay. Defense. Uh, give him some grenades. Grenades are actually good. I can uh, throw grenades and shoot my shotgun at the same time. Bet you didn't know that trick. Okay, running. Uh, this is a bad idea. I killed some, but now we're like... We are really far away. And the grenades don't do a heck of a lot to the big biters. They are heavily armored. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is actually pretty fun, though. Okay, uh, I think I want some more turrets. And I'm at full health because those little helpers are tanking all the damage. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, forty, fifty, seven. 
Okay. Killing more bases. <laughs> I've just got like a swarm of little angry hornets buzzing around my head. Only they're my friends. And so they're they're attacking the other bugs. They've changed sides. They are no longer loyal to bugs. They are anti-bug bugs. Oh god. Okay, low life, low life, low life. Run away. Go back to the turrets. Kill all these biters off. Or spitters, actually, I'm getting chased mostly by now. There we go. Look at the dead bodies on the ground. Do you see all these? Oh, okay, my guys just wore off. So let's run away. I can actually, I can summon them, run backwards, and shoot my shotgun at the same time. That is some quality multitasking. Okay, now we're into a whole nother area. Oh, that's a worm, but he did. Bam, look at that. Oh, all those bases are dead. Yeah. And all of those guys are just getting melted. Let's swing up here real quick. Take out these near guys. Just like so. Okay, and I guess I wait for my uh, all my guys to expire, so they all expire at the same time instead of continually adding two or three at a time. There they go. Okay, back up to 24. Now, eventually, when you tech your follower count really high, you can... Uh, let's do, let's do uh, some poison. You can get a... Oops. You can get a really high follower count. You can just have a ton of these guys following you around. Give them some poison to think about. Their life choices. Take them down a notch. This is why the combat shotgun is pound for pound the best weapon in the game. The way that it just melted all those bases, uh, it just can't be compared with. The, the, the max upgraded rocket launcher is pretty good too, particularly because it has a very long range. Take that. Okay, summoning more. There we go. Okay, I'm just gonna throw these all around just to uh, soften them up a bit. Lead them back here should murder most of them. And let's let's just go ahead and start dropping more. Drop it like it's hot. Very nice. Come on, robot buddies, help me out. Oh god, low life, low life, run. Oh god. Run! Grenades! Help me, turrets! Help me! Thank you. Okay, back in. See how fast the uh, the shield really does repair pretty quickly. And there's some poison for the worms. Lead the hordes back to the uh, to the turrets. That's how you do it. <laughs> That's how you do it. How many? Okay, I am down to 13 defender capsules. Uh, I still have a lot of poison capsules, and I'm totally out of distract distractor capsules, which I'm not sure are really as useful as the defender capsules, because if you look in the crafting menu, um, the distractor capsules take four defender capsules. I'm not sure they're worth four defender capsules, personally. But just in that amount of time, we have taken out all of that. That's pretty good. And we're only gonna get more efficient at killing the aliens. I'm going to kind of recoup, repair the turrets, go make some more of these defender capsules, and I guess some more ammo. And then we'll kill some more aliens. And time skip. All right, last little update for the video. I've pushed the aliens back quite a bit. As I will show you in just a moment, I have to push them back a little bit more just to discourage Regular attacks against my perimeter wall here. You can see I'm still getting periodic brownouts. I did have one kind of like a emergency with the coal kind of thing that happens if your power is going out all the time is your drills pumping the coal into your steam engines, into the boilers for your steam engines. Uh, they stop pumping the coal, and so your whole thing shuts down if it gets too bad. But okay, so here is the expanded perimeter. So we've Thank you guys, thank you very much. Okay, so here we go. 
We've got a giant coal patch here. This is going to be a uh, coal cell. There's a giant copper cell here with some iron. So we might turn that into a massive electronic circuit farm and uh, take that via train elsewhere and get rid of those in the other places. Uh, that would be pretty cool. And then let's see what else. Um, I do have one big giant wall, but this is going to start to break down as we make more and more cells. Pretty large area to work with. Oh, and eventually, uh, one day, I would like to have a huge steam engine area, which will be possible once we have enough room and once we get the coal area up and running. I don't have really enough room for that setup. Maybe like, oh, there's a big copper thing there. I'm going to have to find a big patch of ground. Kind of off on its own with no ore patches beneath it. This looks like a good spot for a pure copper cell. But that's it for this episode. We killed a bunch of aliens. Next time we will continue with the trains and the cells, the specialization, all that kind of stuff. Hope you enjoyed it. Where's my car? Dude, where's my car? It's right there on the map. We'll see you next time. See you later. Bye-bye.